Hey guys, I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be proving the integration by parts formula. In my older videos, I've used the integration by parts formula a lot to solve integrals. So today I'm going to prove it. Okay guys, so let's start with the proof. Let's say we have a function f of x and we can write it as a product of two other functions g of x times h of x. So let me give you an example. Let's say we have to write f of x is equal to x cubed. So we can write that as f of x is equal to x cubed times 1 or we can write that as x squared times x. There's many ways to write it. So now let's take the derivative of both sides. On the right side, we will have to use the product rule. So we have f prime of x is equal to g of x times h prime of x plus h of x times g prime of x. So now we know if we integrate f prime of x back, we will get f of x. So we can write this integral as the sum of two other integrals which is the integral of g of x times h prime of x dx plus the integral of h of x times g prime of x dx. So from here, we can take this integral to this side and subtract it. So we have f of x minus the integral of h of x times g prime of x dx equals the integral of g of x times h prime of x dx and this is actually our formula if we take g of x as u and h of x as v we get uv minus the integral of h of x is v g prime of x dx is du and this equals g of x times h prime of x dx which is just u times dv. So this is our formula. So let me just show you some examples for the integration by parts. So let's say we have to find the integral of the natural log of x dx. We can write this as the natural log of x times 1 dx. Using the formula, we have the integral of u times dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So now I've taken u as the natural log of x and dv as 1 dx. This gives us du is equal to 1 by x dx and v is equal to x. I've differentiated u here and I've integrated dv here. So now if we just plug these values into the formula, we get the integral of the natural log of x dx is equal to x times the natural log of x minus x plus c. So the second example is of the integral of x times e to the power x dx. So again we use the same formula. This time we take u as x and dv as e to the power x dx. Differentiating on both sides we get du is equal to dx and integrating both sides we get v is equal to e to the power x because the integral of e to the power x dx is just e to the power x. So again, we just have to put these values into the formula and we get the integral of x times e to the power x dx is equal to x times e to the power x minus the integral of e to the power x dx. And this gives us x times e to the power x minus e to the power x plus c. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like, comment and share it with your friends. Hey guys, if you've made it till here, you're a legend. Please click here and subscribe for more content and keep watching.